In today's video, we're gonna dig into zone two training. Guys, I've been trying to lose body fat. I've been trying to go from looking like this to where I'm at currently like this. And zone two training definitely plays a role and I got a great question and we're starting right now. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, I'm gonna address a question that you guys asked me right here on my Instagram direct message. So go here, ask me your questions or leave it in a comment below. I love answering you guys' questions. I'm going to give you my perspective from a coach who's going to help you put on muscle, lose body fat, reach the physique goals that you're after. Hit subscribe if you enjoy that type of content. Evening, Paul. What is your take on zone training? There's a lot of info on zone-specific training for fat loss. When increasing the intensity on a treadmill, the heart rate typically goes up until you become accustomed to the exercise. Will fat loss still occur at higher heart rates? All right, so this is a great question, and it's been around for many years. So first, let's talk about this idea of heart rate zones or training zones because it gives us an idea what fuel utilization is going on. When are we burning the most fat? When are we burning the most carbohydrates in our training? Are we metabolically flexible? All right, guys, so I wanna give you the information on some of the zones and what they are. First is our active recovery zone or zone one. That is 50 to 60% of our maximum heart rate. Zone two is our endurance zone. That is the zone that is really trendy right now. That is 60 to 70% of our heart rate. And I'm gonna give you the details on how to know what that is. Zone three is called the tempo zone. That's about 70 to 80% of our heart rate max. Zone four is called the lactate threshold max. And that's anywhere between 80 to 90% of our max. Zone five is 90 to 95% of our heart rate max. So what is our heart rate max guys? Well, there's a few different ways that we can figure this formula out. So the method that I use to calculate my heart rate max is 211. And then you subtract from that your age multiplied times 0.64. Sounds kind of complicated, but all that added up because I'm 47 years old comes out to 180. That is my maximum heart rate. So for me, the magical zone two area based on 60 to 70% of my heart rate max would be between 108 beats per minute and 126 beats per minute. Now, what is the value of understanding zone two? Zone two is basically where our body is preferentially using body fat as fuel versus carbohydrates for fuel. Well, why does that matter? Well, if it comes down to being an endurance athlete, you can actually increase your endurance through putting yourself at an ability to stay in zone two longer. You can run faster, you can run better if you're able to stay in zone two. For someone that's new to running, they're not gonna be able to keep their heart rate down when they start running. So how does this apply to us when it comes to fat loss? And what does it mean for fat loss? Should you be focused on burning fat if your goal is fat loss? Not necessarily because what really matters is the overall 24 hour window. I'm gonna to point to a study right here that shows you that as you increase the intensity of your exercise, the intensity of the glycogen, the glucose, the carbohydrates that's used goes up. So you're burning less body fat. The lower the intensity of the exercise, you're preferentially using fat as a fuel source. So when it comes to fat loss, it might sound great to say, wow, I'm really in zone one and zone two using more body fat for fuel, but it still comes down to, over the course of the day, creating a caloric deficit. So if you go for a run and you're in zone two, zone three, heck, zone four, you're burning a lot of calories throughout the day, even if you're burning glycogen, through the course of the day, your body is going to break down more fat as long as you keep yourself in that caloric deficit range. And this is what I do as a coach. So why do we talk about zone two? What is the value there? Well, for me, I like to use cardio in a system that allows me to train with maximum intensity. I like bodybuilding, that is my goal. I am not trying to be the best endurance runner. I'm not even trying to be an endurance runner. I am trying to put on as much muscle as possible and diet down and lose as much fat as possible while keeping my strength in my muscle. For this reason, zone two is very valuable. So what do we do over the course of a fat loss phase to stay in zone two? If you're very out of shape, very, very out of shape, you can get into zone two, 108 to 126 beats a minute for me, just by going outside and walking, right? Sometimes you might not even be able to start any type of jogging or cycling and staying in zone two. So if you wanna get better at endurance, well, over time, guess what's gonna happen? As you train more, your body's gonna get more adapted. So for me, what I like to do is focus on something other than my actual heart rate. I don't wear a polar monitor, I don't track my heart rate, but what I like to do is pay attention to my perspiration. What I've noticed over the course of my fat loss goals, how I use cardio is that I can get on a treadmill and I can walk flat for a couple days. Then I find, well, you know, I really don't get the same kind of response to the flat walking. So I'm gonna increase the speed and I'm gonna increase the incline. Over time, 
my speed and incline and my duration of my cardio sessions is going to get a little bit longer. This is how I keep my cardio effective for fat loss. You're still always going to burn calories while you're doing cardio. However, when you adapt to a particular modality or a particular speed, you burn a few less calories. So if you want to keep progress going without having to continuously pull calories, you can, over the course of time, add time to the duration or increase the intensity through simply bumping up your incline and bumping up your speed. So while zone two might look very different for myself, when I have dieted down to say 5% body fat and I'm doing zone two cardio, my incline treadmill settings might be incline seven to 10, speed 3.5 to 3.6. Whereas when I started in zone two, it was literally like an incline two, speed 2.5. So I adapt over time. So for you guys that are working on your zone two training, or if you're interested in this idea, it has some value, it has some merit. I don't put a lot of emphasis on it. Why? I'm not trying to be the best endurance runner possible. I think it's valuable if you can run in zone two to learn to adapt to that over time because you can last longer times. If you're burning through all your glycogen as an endurance athlete, you're gonna bonk out faster. If you can stay in zone two and stay in a zone where you're burning preferentially a little bit more adipose tissue as fuel, you're gonna last a lot longer in a race, but that's gonna mean, especially when you start out training, you're gonna have to go a little bit slower. So guys, if you're trying to lose body fat and you're trying to understand your nutrition better, we have what's about to end this Sunday at midnight you can still enter our 90-day transformation challenge for $25,000. I'll show you some of the past winners here, 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 here. Hopefully, George was able to get some pictures in there for you guys. But you see what we do. We provide you with nutrition plans, including stuff for at home, training plans, uh, including like home gyms. We include vegan training plans. We're open worldwide. Anybody's eligible to win. We've had people from Australia, the United Kingdom win this competition but really the value is the community that we create. We have a private group where we're gonna to talk to you guys, answer your questions. And if you really would like a coach, we can also provide that for you. But really what we're providing is 90 days to focus on your goals, answer your questions and make you learn more about yourself so that you can take control of your fitness and your life. And we're gonna help you change that for the better. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.